some people will know from the very beginning, I'm called to be a pastor. I'm going to pastor a church. It's going to be here. Some people do. God give us those people that know right now they're called to pastor. We need pastors. But I want to say as clearly and as strongly as I can this morning, please do not undervalue the incredible value that a person or a couple or a family is when they feel called to go and help somebody. Don't place any lesser value on that because people that are faithful, people that will come alongside a man and a woman of God and be committed, be loyal and have a servant's heart are worth their weight in gold. Never undervalue that. Say, well, I'm not a pastor. If you're a faithful child of God and you feel God stirring you to go somewhere that is maybe a small church, a home missions church, somewhere that needs help, do not ignore that prodding. Do not think, well, I'm not called to pastor, but recognize that you could be of incredible value in that situation. Somebody is called to go out to a town and, and start a church from scratch. They are going to be doing everything. Setting up chairs, picking up people, cleaning up the car park. They're going to be doing everything. But if another person, another couple, another family answers a call and joins them, and they can pick people up. They can teach a Bible study. They can be involved in children's ministry. Maybe they can sing or play an instrument. Maybe they're willing to learn to play an instrument. They can set up chairs. They, they can encourage the pastor. They can hold up the pastor's hands. They can see a need and fill that need. Do not for a moment consider that a lesser calling. Do not consider that of lesser value because you could be the difference between that church going forward and that pastor giving up. Do not underestimate the value of that. When my wife and I moved to Cairns from Townsville, we were about 18 months married. We were in our early 20s. We went to help brother and sister Glass in any way that we could. He was pastoring a small church there. We showed up. We were leading worship. My wife was teaching Sunday school. I was doing something that was sort of called preaching at that stage was trying to take care of the youth group, was looking after the church when he needed to go out of town. 18 months later, we were asked to go with them to Perth. We were doing the same things, preaching, Sunday school. But when we got to Perth, Brother Glass became the overseas missions director like Brother Jonathan Downs is right now. And so I would look after the church while he traveled. That's so what we went to do was to help. 26 years later, I am now in my 18th year as the pastor of Northside Pentecostal Church. I did not go to Ch Perth to pastor a church. In fact, had they told me that before I left, I would still be living in Cairns. <laughs> but we went to help. Do not underestimate. The, if you, you know, you all think, well, I'm not, I'm not a pastor. You don't need to be a pastor. Jesus didn't say, pray ye the Lord of the harvest that he would send forth pastors. He said laborers. Send forth laborers. Do not underestimate your value in helping somebody build a church. And that process over those last almost 30 years since we left Townsville has seen us involve, both of us involved in serving in the National Youth Department, National Ladies Department, the Overseas Missions Department, the National Women's Department, and now I'm on the executive board. All I want to do is help. Amen. I had no aspirations, no desire to advance up some imaginary ladder of progress, but just to help, just to serve. Amen. We simply wanted to serve. God will use the process to produce the calling that he has planned for you from the beginning. Amen. Step out in faith right now in your local church, because if you're not already doing that, then the next conversation needs to be on hold. Be involved right now.